the next speaker we have is an icebreaker speech, and I'm really happy to announce David Vogelson is my colleague. Uh, we both have been working together for the past six years, and uh, the title of this speech is Dave's Life in a Nutshell. And uh, the, the description is, uh, he's going to explain on how David became who he is now, and uh, who he is now and where he wants to go from here. So I welcome David Vogelson. too much in class the first day of first grade and I actually got myself in a little bit of trouble. But, so I've always been a shy, uh, introverted person, but um, uh, not really depressed in any way. I've always had this sense of confidence and I've always had uh, optimism and I was always uh, a happy child. I guess I just uh, internalized everything and uh, lived in my own little world for a while. So, uh, all growing up, I've uh, um, really was motivated by working and earning money. So um, I always had a good work ethic, and uh, um, I always wanted to have fun with whatever I did, and I didn't really want to take myself all too seriously. So I also had this good outlook on life, and uh, I think that good outlook on life has helped me to recognize a lot of the opportunities that have been placed in front of me throughout my life. Uh, for example, when I started, um, when I was a senior in high school, I started uh, working at a place, uh, a local uh, carry-out seafood restaurant called Sea King. And uh, I worked my way all the way up from being a back worker, where I used to set up in steam crabs, um, all the way up to being manager of the, of the restaurant. I worked there all through college. As a matter of fact, I thought I was going to work there forever. Um, I actually bought my first house about two miles down the street from, from Sea King. And uh, so I worked there about 12 years. And uh, I actually met um, my future wife there too. So it wasn't until Sea King upgraded their, uh, upgraded their computers that I realized I had this passion for computer programming. Um, and considered, um, once I found out this uh, passion of mine, I. Um, I, went, I decided to go back to school, take some computer programming classes, and, uh, and immediately upon graduation, I was hired as a software developer. Now, fast forward 10 years till today, and I'm still a software developer. Uh, I'm actually still working for the same employer that originally uh, hired me as a software developer. Uh, the only difference is now I'm contracting to NIST, and I've been at NIST for about a year and a half now. And since I became a software developer, I married the woman of my dreams. Um, as a matter of fact, just on Sancto de Mayo, we just celebrated our 
uh, nine-year wedding anniversary. Uh, together we have two beautiful children. I have a son, that's, his name's Connor, and he's eight years old, and I have a daughter named Caroline, she's three years old. And that sort of um, brings me to why I'm in front of you today. Um, I, after looking back on my life and reflecting upon it, I realized that um, I've been living by the philosophy of how can this opportunity benefit me? Well, you get a little bit older and a little bit more philosophical and you realize there's a bigger picture. This whole world is not just about me. Um, so I've kind of changed my philosophy a little bit to how can this opportunity help me to, in turn, help other people? And uh, since having children too, I want to instill these type of traits in my children as well. And I want to teach them that, uh, that everything doesn't revolve around me, me, me. So in this kind of environment, world of doom and gloom, I want to be a voice of, uh, of uh, optimism, of hope. I want to be some positivity in this world. And uh, I want to be able to get in front of a large group of people and maybe run seminars on helping people become financially independent or confident in this turbulent economic time. And considering that my, uh, my goals for the future are to get in front of people and help people, I figure it uh, would be a good idea for me to sharpen up my communication skills. And I can't think of a better way than what I'm doing right here uh, at Toastmasters. Uh, so I've come a long way since not talking in nursery school to where I am today. But I feel like I still have a lot of work left um, in, in front of me, and I welcome the challenges ahead. And I'm thinking that Toastmasters is going to give me that extra step up that I need to obtain my goals and uh, become the person I was born to be. So thank you all for listening to my story.